Hello friends, welcome back to another video. As you can tell, we are home again. We had a decent trip to Vancouver. I'm just gonna set up my tripod here on the table so I don't have to hold it. We had a decent trip to Vancouver. Um, we can't complain. Everything went a lot better than what we had thought it was gonna go. And Connor thoroughly amazed us. Let's just say he did better than his mother did for some of those appointments. When it comes to flying with children and um, medical appointments and anything at a hospital, my anxiety ramps up and depending on what's going down at the hospital, I tend to get somewhat queasy, unless it's me. If I'm the patient and those things are happening to me, then I, I do fine. But when it's my own kid, my anxiety goes up and I tend to get queasy. So the last two videos that you saw, the first was, um, you know, just us kind of getting ready for this trip and um, some other things that just, you know, daily vlog, kind of mentally preparing for this trip. And then the video after that was our vlog. And I did vlog that trip with my um, my phone just to save on packing the camera, the tripod, the charger, all those things, just because it's a lot more extra to, to, to pack and we didn't want a lot of extra things with. So I did vlog with my phone and it worked. It's just not as, um, probably won't be as good as the other ones, but that's okay. Um, but this vlog, so we got home, we flew out on Monday and we flew home on Saturday. So we were home Saturday for supper and then Sunday we went to visit some of our friends that had recently had a baby and um, for some of Brent's family that we hadn't seen in a while. And then on Monday, um, I had, we had planned on cleaning and rearranging our bedroom be to make room for a bigger bed for Lillian. We officially want to move her out of the playpen and put her into a crib. But she's not old enough to be sleeping on her own yet, so she still needs to be in our room. So we have to kind of rearrange her room a little bit to make room for the crib. But anyway, um, along with that, uh, we never, we didn't get around to it because we'd had a late night and so in the morning Brent turned some cartoons on for Connor in our room and he let me sleep in and Lillian <laughs> sleep in. And then when it was finally time to get up and start cleaning, I had lunch plans with a friend that I hadn't been able to hang out with in about two years. So I dropped everything to go have lunch with this friend. And we had such a good time. It's like we picked up where we left off. Nothing has changed. It was so refreshing to be able to sit down and chat with one of my good friends. But then we were gone for like, I think two hours. I left Lillian at home because Brent had the day off. It was family day here and it was so good. But then when I got home, not even two hours later, my mom showed up because she planned on coming for the week. So my mom was here all week and because she was here all week, I wanted to you know, be intentional with our time and sit there and visit with her. And um, my ambition to clean my house wasn't there. And so then Brent's mom texted me on Wednesday. Was it Wednesday? And she asked me if she could have Connor for the day on Friday when my mom left. And I'm like, for sure you are Ken. So Brent took Connor over to his mom's this morning. So it's just Lily and I at home. And I figured since it's just her and I at home, usually when that happens, I take a day off. I relax all day. But I have a week's worth of laundry that needs to be done since we were in Vancouver. And my kitchen or my house in general has just very much fallen behind. So I'm planning on taking today to clean and I'm vlogging it because if I don't, it's not going to happen. That way now I have a video to film and it's supposed to be a cleaning vlog, finding my house, um, Friday reset after two busy weeks. And then if I have time, I want to relax. So I'm going to enjoy my tea. I'm going to do my Bible reading 
and put Lily down for a nap. And then I am going to buckle down and clean my house and you get to watch me. Precious little girl is sleeping. I've gotten my laundry started and then I ate lunch and then I did my devotions and then I sort of kind of possibly planned a vacation for my family this fall and then I used up all our printer ink. I have a habit of doing stupid things. But anyway, it's for a good cause. <laughs> uh, do you remember back to my video where I talked about the Hormone Healing Academy? Okay, so since I've had Lillian, I've been dealing with some things that are, sorry, I'm talking quiet because Lily is sleeping in the next room. Um, I've been dealing with some things that have or have been um, a problem with, I know it's a hormone issue and I want to fix that, but I can't like 100% dive in to the Hormone Healing Academy right now because the all of the meals that are required to eat to be fully invested into it, we found that my son, it didn't work for him because he was hungry like an hour after dinner. His body needed more carbs than me and Brent's did. We really enjoyed the meals, but unfortunately Connor needed more carbohydrates. So what I thought I would do is the meals that I know I cook for myself. So breakfast and sometimes lunch, I would do some of the Hormone Healing Academy recipes again, like some of the smoothies and some of the salads and whatnot. And um, even some of like the dinners I can do that require like cauliflower rice instead of regular rice. But um, Lillian needs me to have carbs. I mean, healthier carbs, healthier um, fats and stuff. And those are all in this, but I just printed off the entire recipe book and I'm gonna throw it into a binder and it probably wasn't the wisest idea considering it's all online. But I did that anyway. And now we're out of ink, so. Now I get to break that to Brent that I use a all our ink. Anywho's, I have <laughs> this mess to clean up and I think I'm making pizza for supper because it is Friday and that's usually what we do Fridays. Um, but no, I am, I, like I planned a small vacation for our family to do this fall, like me and Brent and our kids. And I'm just really excited about it because it'll be like our first real vacation with both kids. I mean, it's, we'll have a plan for end of August, beginning of September. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to it. So now I have the summer to save for it. And the only way we can do this is if we have the money. So I'm going to start getting my butt in gear and start saving. I also want to get healthy and lose some weight. That way I feel 100%. But anyway, I have so much work to do. So I think I'm gonna pop in my AirPods and get some work done. I got my house cleaned. Laundry is going, floors are washed, swept, vacuumed, counters have been wiped down, tables been wiped down. My mother-in-law brought Connor back and he was very tired. So I put him upstairs to have a short nap even though it is after four already, but he was quite cranky and I knew that's exactly what he needed. Lily is sleeping in the spare bedroom and I'm going to be ending the vlog here. So this was a very casual day in the life slash clean with me. Um, but nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed it to kind of catch a glimpse into what our day is like when I do Saturday cleaning or I guess Friday cleaning. 
and Brent's going to be home in just over an hour and we're going to have a relaxing evening as a family which we haven't had in a long time and I think it's going to be very well needed. So thank you for watching. If you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications for updates on Connor's eye surgery and everything going on with that. Thank you for watching. Bye guys. Thank you.